they pointed the gun at me and they asked me to get into their vehicle and my eyes were tight and i couldn't see anything this fellow with a angry mood they came and they tied me the man who was with me and with the gun he used to be always around me i want to thank you for prayers and your support the whole week of suspense and crisis during the time when our missionary leader pandit george was kidnapped and held in this forest and we didn't know if he'd ever come back alive but god answered your prayers and he's freed and continued to serve the lord and today we have this brief interview with pandit george that'll give you more information of what happened and how god answered the prayers and again may i ask you to please continue pray with us and stand with us as we attempt to reach the multitudes and when the unreached people groups in our generation the lord began to speak to me and uh, and given me gave me this vision to go to north india and do the ministry for the kingdom of god and because the only one reason because north india there are so many people so many villages not being at received or heard the word of god and it was in the evening around 7:30 after meeting with all our pastors and we had a, a normal discussions and uh, with regard to the ministry and activities and uh, that afterwards i just went to my quarter my house where i am residing and i saw a person two three person again coming towards my home and uh, as i was standing outside of my veranda they pointed the gun at me and they saying yes come you know they didn't they didn't start discussing anything they didn't say anything and it was so unfortunate that it happened and to me i never expect <laughs> i was so shocked literally i was breaking my heart then soon they you know they pulled me out of the campus and in just in front of the gate they kept the vehicle and they asked me to get into their vehicle immediately as soon as i entered in the vehicle they start the vehicle within a second they move like fast like you know i thought we are going to we are going to dash with any any other vehicle and die and such a sp- speed they were riding you know going the vehicle was moving and they ride for half an hour and uh, they stopped it was completely dark and they asked me to get down holding me and pushing me and it was muddy completely wet and uh, no road and i couldn't wear my sandal and stuff and it was barefoot i was walking for one and a half hour more than one and a half hour through so many jungle and they gave me to a deep jungle and they put a sack you know a sack and they asked me to sit and two other guys sitting just beside me some day they were tying my you know eyes with a you know cloth and they were tying my both the hand back side it was so painful and sitting in that place for 12 hours a day and they never I was to walk start talk they give a little little food and little water every evening they come and they ask and they put behind me pistol behind my you know behind and then asking give money when you are going to give you tell who is your people give your number give the number otherwise we will shoot you and i said i am a servant of god i am a pastor i have no money if you kill me also there is no money nobody is going to give money after sunday night four night we were desperately in a jungle it was completely rainy and we couldn't they 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 have no no shelter nothing as such and it was i completely wet myself i couldn't sleep my 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 complete cloth and completely you know there was no shelter nothing i had only a small mat covering my myself that night around 4 o'clock the man who was with me and with a gun he used to be always around me he said you sit i will be coming later on then he left me i thought he might have gone somewhere nearby and he will be coming back then 4 o'clock 5 o'clock 6 o'clock 7 o'clock up even darkness all covered everywhere up to 9 10 o'clock nobody came i felt a lot if something happened to me wild animals and elephants 
and so many other you know tiger i was so scared that night because i am all alone in a jungle i could not i could not see because so much mosquitoes so much mosquito was coming mosquitoes mosquitoes was coming in hundred you know not one or two and the early morning when i was i was thinking lord they left me alone in the jungle so then i was thinking that i can go go out i just came out that as i came out of the jungle little bit they came hey why where you are going why you are going i will i will i'll give you they will kill you this and that they were coming and telling me and my eyes were tight and i can't see anything nobody is with me this fellow with angry mood they came and they tied me and they left i i had all my all my shoulder all my leg everywhere and the mosquitoes biting me and all my joints are paining like anything i can't do anything i can't move i cannot do anything in my life but then then around 1 o'clock this boy came and the, he untied the and they removed he removed the, you know the band that was tying my eye on my eye and he removed and he said you eat food and he said you can we are going to release you and then they took me out i felt the presence of god because of our people praying around the world and because of their prayer i am alive i am back to life god has given me this precious life so we need to take risk wherever we go and go and to accomplish the work of the lord but one thing i am sure the lord is always with us and he is protecting us i want to request them please kindly afford our leaders and our pastors and the believe and our believers and the ministry that we have in northeast these are the ch- some challenges so we would like to request them to please pray continually so that the ministry will grow and grow further